I got some under arrest. I'm not going to leave something recording while you're being arrested, okay? It's, I don't have a single problem with you recording everything. I'm trying to get arrested. Is it warrants or something else? From where? You don't have any tickets on me at all? When was the last ticket you seen where there was a warrant out? You don't have any open tickets with us right now. Your last ticket you had 2019? And when was, when was that finalized? Like, when was that dismissed, settled? 2022. In 2022. But I was arrested in 2023 for a parent traffic ticket out of Fort Worth. So they're, they're giving people false information. And writing then, please. They're going to talk to you and tell you that. I'm not talking about talking, man. I'm talking about in writing. Do you have it? I don't have it because I'm not in their division. They're going to come up and speak. So how do you know that it has to go through these people first because before it goes to the city the manager? That is the process that has been explained to me verbally. Who can we go to to have this problem resolved? Because I, I don't want... Office of Police Oversight. I don't... Yeah, unfortunately, that's not, that's not us. We're only for our police department. All right. I'm sorry you was giving wrong information. Yeah, that, that, that seems to be a common occurrence. There's actually another gentleman here that's... Our Actually, I was in line first, ma'am. Yes. Sir. After I get done, then it'll be his turn. You have a problem, sir. Please. Will you keep your please. hands off, ma'am? Will please you please keep your hands off? In my face. You walked up on me. I said, is the building yes. closed? The building's no. closed. So try to put your hands on me. Yes. And I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. Can I give you a hug? No, I, I don't want a hug from you. You need one. And I kind of need so one. So the now. building's closed. What is going on with this place? Call the marshal. I'm just telling you what happened. <clears throat> I understand that. How many times, how many times have we been down there and they have lied about where they're sending the records request to? The city manager assistant lies to us, send us to the wrong place. So I'm up here to file a complaint now as it pertains to the records. They're purposely trying to cover up of when I was taken to jail for a warrant that didn't exist. And in the process of me wanting to file a complaint, the lady leaves from behind her desk, proceeds to assault me. And then the lady that's, I guess, the supervisor decides she wants to call the marshals up there, probably to spin a false report against me. I'm going to show you guys the full clip of what happened. And the reason I was arrested, guys, and they're trying to cover up this uh, cab footage and any other kind of body camera footage we could get a hold of is because the Tarrant County Judge, Tim O'Hare, uh, called a marshal up there right after the meeting. This is his words, and I'd be glad to show you the body camera footage if they'd ever release it. To have me arrested without a warrant, without me committing a crime, without a citation, anything. This is sheer retaliation. Whenever I schooled him in the commissioner's meeting, and if I really wanted to go hard on the guy, I could go down there every week and school him. It's not very hard when you make as many mistakes as he has, like taking money from the homeless and giving it to law enforcement and taking ARPA funds and giving himself a $70,000 raise as soon as he got in. And now with the money that he's stole, basically, he's now gambling it on the baseball game and Right after he made this bet, then they lost. But if we, the citizens, bet, then we get raided and taken to jail and prosecuted. It's like there's two different sets of rules here. And I've taken this to the Republicans' attention. I've been to several Republican meetings speaking out about this guy. And trust me, y'all, none of the Republicans here want anything to do with him that I've seen. And I don't know if it's the taxpayer money he's gambling now or if it's his own personal money that he directly took from the taxpayer when he gave himself a $70,000 pay increase. Now we know where the $70,000 is going. It's going for gambling. This fool has no business gambling taxpayer money. So who's going to pay the debt if you lose, huh? Who's going to pay the debt? So now I guess we're supposed to pay for this fool's gambling habits. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to show the full clip where this lady comes out and assaults me for wanting to file a complaint and a records request. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about this in the comments and smash that thumbs up. Let's get into it. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was here the past few weeks. 
-hmm. And um, there was an issue with my records request being turned into the appropriate party. Um, it's being turned into the police department. I've asked multiple times for it to be sent to the marshals yeah, uh, about so, an arrest that happened. Um, they, they, information <clears throat> for the now, guys, notice as soon as I walk in, I haven't told this lady my name or anything. They already have a fake excuse for trying to deny the records already ready to go. Literally, as soon as I walk in. What do you think is going on behind that? I need to do a records request right now. Okay, so you want to fill one out, one of those again? This is what? So this is the, the contact information for the liaison who was assigned to the request for the marshals. So she's part of the municipal court. Which okay, so where's the response to my records request then? Um, and where is the... Just look at this lady's face, y'all. This is the face you make when you're telling a bold-faced lie and you know the person doesn't believe it. This lady literally comes out with a name and a number on a sticky note. Like I'm gonna call them on the phone and talk about it and not do my records request. Like how stupid can you be? Who do you really expect to buy that? Jail footage of me being in jail. I was in jail, but according to your mm -hmm. responses, they're saying I was never arrested. So how was I in jail if I was never arrested? Well, that's why I'm giving you the information for the video. I need a response to my records request, ma'am. I'll take that, that's fine. That's not what I asked for. Here, I'll take that. Okay, but, but I need to know to what happened you. to my records request. Yeah. I'm trying to show you that on 1017, she responded to you saying that there was... Okay, can you get that response for me then, please? That's all I asked. I used to be wearing clown shoes. Now notice, after I shot them down on the little fake sticky note, you need to call this person, be on hold for an hour, and never talk to nobody. Waste of time is what they were trying to give me. Notice the lady then walks to the back where they start plotting something. I'm just curious, how does my records request get sent to the wrong person every time? Every time I, I even have it written down in it, bold it print writing. The, it went to the marshals. No, the one I got back didn't. What did it say it went to? It said it went to the police department and said that three times in a row. They, they've still yet to explain how I was in jail, but they claim I was never arrested, never in jail, but I have it on video of me going to jail. Yeah, they're trying to hide whatever they have. It's what it is. Wow, so this is the fourth time I've been here. First time I get a response. Now, guys, notice as soon as the other lady walks out, the woman who walked to the back walks out right behind her. And this is why I think this was a planned attack. It's an attack on our rights. They were both in the back conspiring to not file my records request because they're doing this because they've been told by the higher ups not to give me any, inf any information that's going to make the county judge look bad. Okay, here's my question, ma'am. And after this, I want to file a complaint. How is there no record or no video of me being in jail when I was arrested on my and I got video myself of that happening? How is there no record of me going to jail? So all I can say is that you can contact the liaison. Um, to ask them further questions, her information's here at the bottom. So you can contact, she assigned it here saying that you can contact And I, and I want to file a complaint on the clerks here because they keep giving the, they keep giving the FOIA request to the wrong people. Okay, so you, you said this was printed off yesterday when I, after I made a video about it. I had to make I a video. I printed it off yesterday. What is the day, the 19th? Yeah. Okay, so two days ago. And every single response I got back was, oh, we sent it to the police department and they don't have any records for it. Why is my request being sent to the police department when it doesn't even have police on there? It has marshals on there. Okay, but this one was assigned. That's why I want to file a complaint. Do you understand? Okay. You can submit a complaint. You want to submit yeah, I want a complaint form. Okay. Hold on. Now, guys, we already showed in the last video where the clerks in there are liars and they're giving the records request to the wrong agency. 
I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description for y'all to check out. It's going to be one of them deals where I come down here and I'm sitting here in the lobby waiting for 30 minutes and you guys don't ever come out and then, oh, the building's closed. All I need is a complaint for. Yes, ma'am. Do I have a minute? You have a minute. I don't have much time. It's about to close. We have a minute. Please calm down. I am calm. You guys are the ones who don't do your jobs properly. And don't tell me what I am, ma'am. I know what I'm doing here. You guys can't do your jobs properly. Sir, she went to print off of print off. Print off. And that's what I was asking, ma'am. I said, do you guys have a complaint for him or what? I'm sorry. We do. And she went to get you one. And I have a problem. You guys sending my records requests to the wrong people. Sir, she's addressed that. No, we haven't addressed that. Why does it say... There's no record of me being in jail when I was arrested. Why are you smiling? What we can do for you. She is Maybe quit harassing me would be good. Making false arrests. You want to you want to find out who the officer was that did this? If you want to help me. There's actually another gentleman here that needs our attention. Actually, I was in line first, ma'am. Yes. Sir. After I get done, then it'll be his turn. So he can't be helped. In I'm in line right now, ma'am. I'm waiting for my complaint form. Okay, but there's another assistant here, so I'm going to help this gentleman. You can do what you and want. I'm waiting for my complaint form right here. Is that okay? Yeah, you'll just step aside. No, I don't need to step know. aside. I'm waiting here for my complaint form. Sir. So now this lady comes out and says I need to give up my place in line after I'm talking about filing a complaint because she's so desperate to get the attention off the complaint and to try to get this other guy in front of me when I was clearly in there first. Can we help you? Oh, yeah, I'll see us. I think he does. Good. He had come up the other day. Let's go. Um, They're side to deny that records request for sending to the wrong people. Did you need another pen or something, sir? Oh. Oh, you have one. <laughs> okay. So we don't have a formal form here for our office. Why'd she say you was printing a form off then if you don't have one? Okay. It's literally so what she just have, said. Okay, so we don't have a formal form. Why are you smirking like it's funny? I don't find nothing about I'm this not funny. I'm smirking like it's funny. I'm just seeing. You guys are sitting here smiling. I need a complaint form. Get the supervisor out here then. So this is... Uh, you get the supervisor out. She said you was printing off a form, so I guess she lied. You said you were getting a form. Then you come back. Oh, we don't have a form. I was telling you got this you that over the internet garbage. I ain't ever got a response from. You guys come out here. You're not even putting my request in the right way. I was telling you that I was getting the AG complaint. Have a question? Yes. Um, so this is the AG. How you sent in a oh, complaint? I need a complaint form on the clerks here. So you complained. I know how to appeal to the attorney general. You guys didn't even block my records request. You sent it to the wrong person. It doesn't even have government code five five two on there. You guys just straight up didn't do the request. We sent the request to the liaisons, so. It says you guys sent the, the request to the police department. No, this person here that responded to you is from the municipal court. That's not the police department. That paper's on the ground and I'll read it later. I seen what it said. It said there was no documents of me ever being in jail, but I was arrested. It's on video of me being taken to jail. Why is there no records in regards to that? And why is the, and why is the request being sent to the wrong people? It was sent to the municipal court. Can I get a complaint form on the clerks? I've been down here how many times because you guys can't do your jobs properly the first time. We don't have a form. You do have a complaint form, ma'am. We don't have a complaint form formally. Then let me speak to a supervisor then. You can send it. Let me speak to a supervisor then. You'll get the supervisor. And you came out here and lied already. You said she's printing a complaint form off and she did. I believe that she had a complaint form. Man, you guys just lie constantly, man. All right, y'all, now this is the part where the lady comes out from behind the glass. And honestly, it was getting close to five, so I thought the building had closed or was closing. So I asked her if the building was closed. Then she proceeds to assault me. And then after that, she goes and starts punching a wall, I guess because she got mad that her little plan didn't work and she got exposed on numerous lies. Have a good afternoon, sir. Building closed? 
You have a problem, sir. Please, Will you keep please, your hands off, ma'am? Will you please keep your hands off? You walked up on me. I said, is the building yes. closed? The building's no. closed. But, you know, you could be a little more respectful. You got right in my face to try to put your hands on me. Yes. And I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. Can I give you a hug? No, I, I don't want a hug like from you. You need one. And I kind of need so one. So the building's now. closed or no? No, sir. But you're you so it. mean to us. You guys are mean to me. You didn't put the request in the right way. Honey, we can only do so much. Do we need to get security up here and have you removed? Because you tried to put your hands on me. Now you want to hug me. I don't want nothing to do with you, lady. I'm sorry. I won't I am hug not your you. friend. I do not want nothing to do with you, lady. I'm sorry. I can hug you. Give me a hug. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. You're right. I overreacted. I don't, re I don't respect snakes. Um, and you come out here and try to put your hands on me? I'm sorry. I... You know what? I didn't I'm doing a records request, man. You leave I, your office to come I, over here and put your I hands am. on. That will be on a complaint gonna, form. I'm gonna go take a break. And I will put you on a complaint form. This lady's over here punching walls now. Hey, this lady's over here punching a wall. I don't know what's going on with this lady. She came out from behind the desk, came to the door. I asked if the building was closed. She said, have a good day, sir. I thought the building was closed. This lady leaves her desk, comes over here and puts hands on me. Then it's like, hey, I want to give you a hug. I want to give you a hug. I said, no, I don't want to hug you. She just walked over there and punched a wall. Dude, this is insane. Like, you guys can't do your jobs properly. I want to file a complaint. I want another complaint for that. Guys assault people for doing public records here. How can I help you? I want to know why the public records I do is always sent to the wrong department. Why is there no record of me being put in jail when I was taken there? And and why you have a clerk out here coming out and assaulting people? Who do you let me finish? And then saying she's wanting to hug and all that. I'm like, what is going on with this place? Call the marshal. I'm just telling you what happened. <clears throat> and guys, right here is where they show their hand. So after numerous lies had failed. After they tried to start a fake scene and that had failed. Now they've resorted to calling the marshals all for the sake of keeping me from getting public records. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. I understand that. If you would let me finish, I will answer your questions. Okay. And you said call the marshals for what? Can I answer your questions? Sure. Okay. Your request, I believe originally you asked about investigate being arrested. We would typically always send those to the police department. It got routed then back to the marshal's office. They have responded that they do not have any responsive record. You can contact the marshal's office in the municipal court to find out more information about that. There's nothing more I can answer. There's no complaint for me. And you called the marshals to have me maliciously arrested? No, I didn't. Then why would we call the marshal's office? You can. And of course, they didn't answer my question when they told me they were going to. But guys, I'm going to leave my cash app in the description if it's in y'all's heart to donate. Because it appears as though they're actively trying to arrest me now for filing a records request and a complaint. This is the type of stuff you would see in a third world country, but that's what it's like living in Tarrant County. I, I don't need to escort out. The building's closed. I can leave by myself. Do you have a business phone? No, but it's All I asked for was a complaint form. The lady told me there was a complaint form. There wasn't. This is ridiculous. We do not. I've came down here probably three or four times. Every time I've been cordial with you guys. You can file and then you guys put your hands on me. That's where I'm drawing the line. Okay. You say I can do a complaint? And is it part of your policy to come out here and put your hands on people when they're asking for complaint forms? anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I, want, I asked, is it part of your policy to lay your hands on people? Doing? She didn't lay any hands on you. She didn't lay her hands on me, huh? Lady, it's literally on video that she did. An email on here? Yes. I'll send you that video then. That's fine. And then after you see the video and review it, then we'll, I'll be happy to talk to you about it. And this guy's a pedophile.
Now, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Let me know if you think I should file charges on this lady. And I will be going back down there to follow up with complaints on this. And be sure to smash that thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.